We don't care. We have donuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a bright day when I spend some time with my friend Ben Shoulders. Twice in one week. That is twice Kelly Dearman. They're both board members of the Boys and Girls Club. And they're here to talk about some trash, really. To talk some trash about the 100 <laughs> men who cook. Because y'all have knocked yourself out, I can see. Well, we homemade cookies and donuts, maybe. Yes, absolutely. Well, they were made in some home. Some home. Somewhere. Yes. <laughs> You just run by the you know donut bank back, back here and get your donut. Yes, they Something had like to that. prepare those this morning for us <laughs> for to you. help us out. Yes. Specifically. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's talk about, first of all, the Boys and Girls Clubs as the happy benefits of this year's event. Why, how did they get chosen, and what is that process like? Absolutely. This is, I believe, it's the seventh year for the 100 Men Who Cook. Uh, every year, any non-for-profit can apply. You fill out an application process and so forth. Last year, uh, CASA was the recipient. I think at the event last year, they raised something around $270,000. Can you imagine receiving that when you're oh, struggling for funds It's, yes. off it's the a top. game changer for yeah. sure. And then at the end of the evening, they then announced the recipient for the following year. So after, at the end of the evening, after they awarded the check to CASA, they then announced that the Boys and Girls Club would be the recipient for the following year, which is next Saturday. So we have applied numerous times, as many have, and we're so fortunate and so blessed to be the recipient this year and also anxiously awaiting who the next recipient will be after, after the check's presented. So that's kind of how the process has gone. It is a heck of an evening, though, isn't it, Kelly? Yeah, it is a great time for everyone who shows up. A lot of great food. Uh, we're providing the desserts because... You know the kids at the boys and girls. That's what you do. Well, the kids at the boys and girls club are so sweet. So, oh, that's a, that was a good connection. Very I'll nice. Go with that. Kids love cookies and donuts. So, and you know, so nice. it, yes. it's our turn to thank everybody, all the other cooks and all the other guests that come uh, to make sure that they know how thankful we are that we were chosen this year. Well, it is a fun evening. It's, if you it's have, and uh, we've only got a few tickets left. We're, only we're, a few. We've, a pretty hot we've, ticket. So, we've sold around 70 tables. We just have room for probably just a handful more tables. So if you're interested in coming, please go to the website or call uh, Courtney Blaylock or others. There's, there's what you need to do right there. There's a phone number there. Website. Tickets are going fast. It's in eight days, folks. And it will be one of, if not the most fun community event around. It will Absolutely. be. Have you seen some of the other uh, dishes that are going to be out there? Oh, yeah. There's anything from buffalo chicken dips to <laughs> cookies and donuts <laughs> to steak and potato to all kinds Pizza, of things. Pizza, you name it. And if you've never been Lamb before, chop. you kind of wander around from... from yeah, the, you come in there, you can try with your... It's $100 a 10 or $1,000 for a table of 10 if you want to buy a table. And in there, you get literally all you can eat food at a hundred different stations. You can bid on auction items. There's a live auction. The Wilson brothers are doing that. They are so much They're fun. They're so good. Yes. And um, it's just a fun, funny, very casual, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's not a formal event of any kind. And the number one thing is, as Kelly has on, as Kelly has on his thing, do not forget to tip, tip, tip your, your chef. chef. And you can be, you, can't you be doing tips right now online? You can yeah. do tips online okay. right now all the way through, I believe it's next Wednesday. I think it's when we close the online. Correct. Um, and you, so you can tip online, you can write a check now or bring it with you next Saturday. Yeah, bring a cash or check, or do, can we do a square? Or we are, or any of it. it. We'll, we'll, any we'll take your money we'll anyway, exactly we can right. get it. That's right. So again, it's next Saturday. Next Saturday starts at 6 yep. o'clock, and, and we do a chef parade where all 100 <laughs> chefs will prance around, and that's at 6.30. So doors open at 6, and the chef parade will be at 6.30. Food will be live around 6.45 to 7 o'clock. Yep. It's going to be a party, party, party. Thank you, Kelly. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, ben. you, Angie. And congratulations, Boys and Girls Club. When we come back, our friend Katie Agner is here with our other friend. Look at there's Tyna Wheat. She's back. She's already been here once this week. She's back again.